Hi, this is Jamie Davis, the pod medic, coming back here to the physio control booth for the medic cast viewers and listeners. I'm talking with John Friedrich about the Lucas. Now, anybody who has been involved with dealing with long transport CPR and doing those continuous compressions knows how much of a strain that is and really can, you know, probably one of the, another cause of low back strain in EMS providers. And so what can we do to help out with that is use adjunct devices and the Lucas is one of those devices actually we've had it in our station and uh, we've used it and I think we've been very pleased with it but I'd like to John's talk about, talk to us a little bit about how this helps provide those compressions high quality compressions all the way to the hospital thanks Jamie yes Lucas 2 and actually the whole Lucas family Lucas 1 which is the air powered one and Lucas 2 which is our new battery powered one are designed to provide continuous un uninterrupted compressions for up to 40 minutes on a single power source simply slip the backboard under the patient and get it set go back to doing CPR and you can take this device it's got two clips on the end. Clip one side and the other side. Check to make sure it's on there snugly. Power it on. Set it. And this is just like putting your, your hands on the chest, right? So it's got a little puck under there that's just like uh, the palm of your hand and lock it in place. At this point now it knows where the chest wall was when you started doing compressions because as we know it'll soften up over time. This, this suction cup helps to pull that back up to the neutral point and now you're set. You have two options right now, continuous or 30 to 2. So turn it on and away you go. Now in this particular version it actually will also adjust the depth that compresses from an inch and a half to two inches depending upon the size of the person. So a larger person like you is probably going to get two inches. You have a very small person, depending upon how far down you push this piston when you set it, it'll, it'll, there's, you can see it's pausing to do ventilations, it'll do an inch and a half compression. But you can see it's one, two, three to get it to go. And so these are available now, the new version of Lucas? Yes they are. They're, they're so we have uh, the, the operation going on here. Uh, we have ability still, it's small in, in its profile, so we can still get around and push meds, uh, get people moving around a patient to uh, get them into position. And it's small enough we can put it on a backboard and get the patient moved easily to the cot and into the ambulance. That is correct. It's built to be small. You've got these, these straps on the side that'll help hold patients' hands while you're moving the patient around. There's clearly enough room to be able to put uh, defibrillation pads on so you can actually defibrillate the patient as well while this is on there. And the beauty is you can actually defibrillate while it's operating because you obviously don't have your hands on the patient. So. Excellent. Well, John, thank you very much for sharing uh, this with us. I know it's your job, but, you know, we still like to see the toys. Yeah, so I do, too. I do, too. <laughs> I think this is a great one.